If you get a bit of negativity or something bad happens, you know, you have to pick yourself up and continue because life moves on. And that was something that I learned from my mum. I remember Shelley watching the Olympics in 1992, and she said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to do that. And that was her dream. We gave her the opportunity to do so many different sports. And then she was spotted by a hurdle coach. And that was all she wanted, hurdles. I'd gone from coming through the ranks and being really good at the hurdles. And while I was weightlifting, I lifted a weight and I didn't have the best technique, and so I strained my back. It was horrendous to see her in so much pain. I just thought, oh my goodness, I've just spent all this time and effort, and it's pretty much all just ended. And I didn't think I could ever pick myself up from that. Mum said to me, listen, you've got the whole world ahead of you. You've spent so many years training, don't throw it away. The skills that I needed for skeletons, such as balance, coordination, speed work, I'd already done that growing up. She'd done well, she put it to good use in another sport. When I realised that I qualified for the Turin Olympics, I did actually say to my parents, I think I can get bronze. But that's between us. <laughs> I had a Canadian athlete come down after me and she made a really huge error on one of the curves. And then a German athlete came down and she made a lot of errors going down and I just thought, oh my goodness, this is really, really close. Oh my God, you just won an Olympic medal. I just didn't know whether to cry or ha be happy and I just started bouncing around. And you're watching, you see Shelley's name and then the board is an adult. No, because it is unexpected. I went to the Vancouver Olympics, ranked number two in the world, and so there was a lot of expectation there, and I just had one bad run on the first run, and I was just gutted. I came away from Vancouver feeling a little bit incomplete, and then the following season, I got a news alert saying that my dad had been involved in a, a car crash. My husband suffered a brain hemorrhage. And the next thing we knew is he had to go and have life-saving surgery. And we said our goodbyes, and it was just horrible. I had to reevaluate everything. The outcome was positive, and Dad got through the surgery. I'd basically made my mind up that I was going to retire and move back home and try and help out. My mum was like, no, absolutely not. No, no, you're not doing that. You've trained and trained. You've got to think of your future and yourself. Let us deal with that, but you, you continue. And I actually drew quite a lot of strength from it. And I went out the next season with the target to win the overall World Cup title, and I, and I did. She did what my husband and I hoped she would do, carry on. P&G, proud sponsor of Mums.